In this video, I'll cover how to install Paperless NGX on a Synology NAS using Container Manager. If you aren't familiar with Paperless NGX, it is a document management system that allows you to convert your physical documents into a searchable online archive. It has an amazing array of features, including the ability to organize and index your documents using tags, correspondence, and types. It provides OCR scanning of your documents to allow you to search your documents by its contents and supports various document types, including PDFs, Office documents, and images. To learn more about Paperless NGX, check out their website, which I'll link to in the description below. For this video, we'll be installing Paperless NGX as a project using Container Manager. Also, if you require remote access to Paperless NGX, we'll be covering that setup as well by configuring DDNS, port forwarding, and a reverse proxy. Let's get started by installing Container Manager from the Package Center. We'll be setting up Paperless NGX as a Docker project in this video. I'd also recommend installing the text editor package so that you'll be able to edit configuration files for the project directly from within DSM. Next, let's enable SSH by bringing up Control Panel, Terminal and SNMP, and enable the SSH service. SSH will be needed to gather information from the command line later in the video. Now I'll bring up FileStation and create a folder under the Docker shared folder that will be used for the project. Within that folder, I'll create additional subfolders for the containers that will be created for the project, along with the folders that will be used directly by Paperless NGX. I'll then bring up the text editor application create a new text file, and paste in the contents of what will be the docker-compose.env file, which you'll find in the description below. This file contains the majority of what needs to be customized for installation. For my setup, the user map underscore UID and GID will be the UID and GID of the admin account I'm currently logged into DSM with, which I can get by SSHing into my Synology NAS with that same account. Once logged in, I'll run the id command to get that information. Then I'll change the id in the text editor I have open in DSM. Next, I'll change the paperless underscore time underscore zone to the time zone that I am in. You'll then want to change the paperless underscore OCR underscore language to something other than ENG for English if you want the optical character recognition to use another language. You can also change the paperless underscore admin underscore user and password to something you would like to use. Or you can leave things as is, then update the PL admin password once paperless NGX is up and running, which is what I'll do for my setup. If you would like to allow remote access to paperless NGX, you can uncomment the paperless underscore URL and paperless underscore secret underscore key entries. For my setup, I do want remote access, so I'll uncomment both lines. For the paperless underscore URL, I'll enter in the DDNS hostname that I'd like to use, which I'll set up a little later in the video. Then for the paperless underscore secret underscore key, I'll enter in a bunch of random characters to create a secret key that paperless NGX will use to create session tokens. The documentation says the more characters the better, so make sure to enter in a longer set of random characters. Now I'll save the file into the paperless NGX folder that was created earlier and give it the file name docker-compose.env. At this point, we are ready to start working on the paperless NGX project itself. So I'll bring up Container Manager, select Project, and create a new project. I'll give the project a name and set the path to the folder I created earlier. For source, I'll select the create docker compose.yaml option and paste in the YAML for this project, which I'll include in the description below. Most of what is in the YAML config doesn't need to change, but confirm that the volumes are pointing to the correct directory, and if you name the directory paperless-ngx, all in lowercase, like I did 
within the Docker shared folder, you should be all set. You may also want to change the Postgres underscore password entry and confirm that port 8000, which is used by the paperless NGX container, is available on your host NAS. If not, you'll need to change this host port number to something else. In total, this Docker Compose YAML file will create five containers, including a Redis broker for scheduled tasks and automations, a Postgres database container, the paperless NGX container itself, and a couple of optional containers to allow paperless NGX to parse Office documents and emails. Now I'll click Next. Next again on this Web Portal Settings window, and click Done on this Summary window to create and start up the project. While the project is being built, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. The Paperless NGX project takes a few minutes to complete the setup process, and once you see this entry in the Paperless NGX containers logs, you'll be able to bring up the Paperless NGX web UI in your browser using HTTP, the IP address of your NAS, and the external port number assigned to the paperless NGX container. You can also log in with the username and password that were entered in the docker-compose.env file. Once logged in, you can start the tour of paperless NGX, which is a good way to get familiar with the application. You can also change your password by bringing up My Profile and enter in a new password and confirm the password. If you don't plan to remotely access your paperless NGX setup, you can stop here, start uploading new documents, and start working with the application. If, however, you want to allow remote access like I do, you'll want to continue and set up a DDNS hostname. To do this, back in DSM, bring up Control Panel, External Access, then select DDNS. I'll click Add, select Synology as the service provider, and enter in a host name to use. In my case, the host name that I entered in is also what I pre-configured in the docker-compose.env file we worked on earlier. I'll then click Test Connection to ensure that the connection is working properly to Synology's DDNS service. The status came back as normal, so the connection is fine, and I'll click OK to complete the setup. Next, I'll bring up Security and select Certificate and click Add to bring up this Create Certificate wizard to set up a Let's Encrypt certificate that will be associated with the DDNS hostname that was just set up. I'll leave Add a New Certificate selected and click Next. Here I'll select Get a Certificate from Let's Encrypt. From this Get a Certificate from Let's Encrypt window, for domain name, I'll enter in the DDNS hostname that was just set up. Enter an email address I'd like to use. Then, under Subject Alternative Name, enter in a star or asterisk followed by the DDNS hostname to create a wildcard certificate, and click Done. Next, I'll configure a reverse proxy rule for paperless NGX by selecting Login Portal, then click Advanced. From here, I'll click Reverse Proxy, then click Create. From this Reverse Proxy Rules window, I'll give the reverse proxy a name. Under Source, I'll change the protocol to HTTPS. For hostname, I'll take advantage of the wildcard certificate that was just created by adding paperless to the beginning of the DDNS hostname that was set up earlier. This is also the hostname I entered in the docker-compose.env file for the paperless underscore URL address. For port, I'll enter in 443, which is the normal SSL port number, I'll also enable HSTS to ensure that access to this hostname always uses HTTPS. Under Destination, I'll leave the protocol as HTTP. Enter in localhost for the hostname and enter 8000 for the port, which is the host port number that was entered in the docker-compose.yaml file, and click Save. Next, I'll ensure that the domain name that I entered during the reverse proxy setup is associated with the Let's Encrypt wildcard certificate that was created earlier. To do this, I'll select Security, then Certificate, and click on Settings. 
Now I'll set the paperless domain name to use the certificate of the Synology DDNS hostname that was set up earlier and click OK. Then click Yes on this pop-up window regarding restarting the corresponding services. Lastly, I'll enable a port forwarding rule on my router where I'm pointing the external port 443 to the corresponding port on my Synology NAS. Now, if I bring up a browser window and enter in the reverse proxy domain name that I set up using HTTPS, I'm able to access paperless NGX. At this point, I can log in and add documents to paperless NGX and start using the application. I won't go much into using paperless NGX because it has so many features, so make sure to check out the tour of the application and the documentation for the project, which you'll find in the description below. Also, let me know what features you are interested in, and if there are several commenters that are looking to do that specific task, I'll create a video on that feature. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me to help you implement Paperless NGX, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.